Hello, welcome to Quantum Espresso tutorial series for beginners. This is lab 5. Today we will learn about relax and we see relax calculation and how it is used in a further calculation. <clears throat> the major difference in relax and VC relax is that the relax calculation is used uh, use only for a relaxation of atom position atomic position for minimum force uh, while vc relax is advanced technique which uh, relax atomic position as well as cell dimension as you can say that the cell volume for targeted pressure or uh, minimum stress most of people have one common question that after relax and VC relax calculation what information or data have to take from output file and how that all apply to input file for other calculation or properties and how to convert this parameter to seldom or alert let's learn it now it is very easy and useful for precise calculation and accurate result as well Let's start with a simple relax.in file. Here is a control section. I wrote the calculation as a relax and force conversion threshold value is 0.001 hit per per bore. Here other input is the same as a previous SCF file. You can watch video related how to write input SCF file for all the parameters, or you can download it from the input uh, from the uh, description box below the video here is a one section we added uh, extra for relax calculation is ions in this section we wrote command parameter ion dynamics and uh, bfgs as a algorithm here is a pseudo potential which we use is a pb ultra soft pseudo potential which is very efficient as well as a precise for a self calculation and this is the atomic positions now save this file as a relax dot in uh, pseudo partition file must be in a same folder now press shift plus the right mouse button together and click on open command windows here option now compile relax file using a pw command and wait for output this is our output file open in notepad here is the Here is the basic information of uh, unrelaxed structure. Now find for final coordinate, that is final energy. Then next to final energy, uh, this is final coordinates. And uh, final atomic positions. Copy that. and uh, paste it in uh, a cf file so now our scf is a relaxed structure scf okay then save it now we will write a vc relax file by changing or adding several parameters here we change the calculation as vc relax vc dos uh, vc dash relax then now add one more section cell section
and cell for VC relax calculation. In this section, uh, we assign cell to free as a for allowing relaxation in all dimension and cell dynamics type as a BFGS algorithm and pressure applied to structure is zero and pressure conversion threshold is up to 0 0.5 kilobar. Now save this file. Now save this file by name VC relax protein with pseudo potential file and compile this file by PW command then open VC relax dot out file open in notepad here is non relaxed structure parameters this is seldom 1 and seldom sorry this is elite seldom 1 and seldom 3 and this is a crystal axis this one is c by a which uh, is which is uh, same as seldom 3 Now find for final coordinate there is final enthalpy and next to final enthalpy there is final coordinate here is a new volume cell parameter and atomic position here cell parameter L8 4.66250239 bar and this is cell parameter after relaxation now copy this atomic positions in our initial scf file Save it. Yeah, save it in graphite uh, dot in a save file. We have to change this A and C also. By using cell parameters. So first of all, we have to open Excel file for calculation of C and A. for a hexagonal structure we have to calculate c and a both parameters because a is equal to b is not equal to c so here a let is equal to 4.6625039 Now latest parameter A is equal to A is a multiplication of A let 
and uh, this uh, cell parameter means one one cell parameter here one one cell parameter is point nine 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 six three four nine seven three multiply by event this is a in board but here a is in angstrom so we have to convert this for into angstrom value for angstrom actually angstrom is a half of the board so half of this value is in column angstrom see this is the difference between initial and uh, final coordinate means after relaxation this is also known as seldom one in a board now calculate C from the final cell parameters but uh, first of all we have to assign C by V A value from the cell parameters here is the C by A, a value C by A is equal to 3.16 For C, C by A multiply by multiply with A is known as C by sorry is known as C. So it is C and half of the C in bore is equal to angstrom. <coughs> so this is the final coordinate of C in angstrom, and this is also known as C by A is also known as seldom three in a board sorry uh, open again not there okay. now for convenient purpose uh, we will change this a and c by seldom 1 and seldom 3 seldom 1 in more copy and paste and then seldom 3 in more copy and paste we can write a and c instead of c by uh, seldom but seldom is more convenient for bulk modulus now save this file this is our final SCF file with relax structure now open command prompt and uh, compile this SCF file with final structure here is uh, our output file this is final structure coordinate and parameters unit cell volume and alert seldom one seldom three and 
calculated here is the final total energy and fermi energy